So you may have one of these breadboards. These are nice, pretty, pretty common, pretty cheap breadboards. Um, but I've been noticing at least this one has a problem. The uh, back wants to come off, which is basically just a, um, what they do is a double-sided tape and then uh, they stick just kind of um, it right to the board, a big piece of double-sided tape, and then put something against this side. But the stickiness has completely gone out of this, and it's just falling off. And I was thinking there must be some solution to this. I don't want to have to buy another board and then have it do the same thing. Again, you can get nicer boards, like I have this uh, one I got from Radio Shack. And it's mounted to a piece of metal, which is which is really nice. The breadboard is actually screwed into the metal base, and I use this one, and it really has uh, very few problems with it because of that. So I was thinking I should find something to attach to the bottom of this one, so um, we can overcome that problem. So I was thinking maybe uh, 3D print something and see how that works. So sadly, we've had to depopulate the board for this, which I guess basically served its purpose for the last uh, project. So then we can see that there are several holes in the board. Not as many as I would like, but um, at least one for each corner and then one in the middle. So um, let's try to build up something in Fusion 360 and print a backing to it, I think, is going to be the most ideal solution for me at the moment. Something metal would be nice, right? But I um, need to include this again or do one massive short.
All right, well, the uh, base plate is printed, finished printing. I think it's uh, turned out pretty well. It seems to line up pretty well with the um, holes. So um, next part is to find some screws that'll fit here. I didn't uh, check to see if I had any yet, but um, they have to be pretty short, I think, but All right, so I found some little screws like this guy right here. I got a bunch of these. They seem to fit. Not exactly what I intended, but um, they are countersunk, so that's nice. And I think they'll hold everything together nicely. At least a lot better than the double sided sticky foam tape that's who knows how old and has lost all of its adhesive properties. The holes line up fairly well. Um, I think Based on the breadboard, there might be some warping in, you know, certain cases. Hard to say. So there you have it. Nice solid, solid breadboard. Not going to come apart anytime soon. Little flappy thing. Isn't going to get in the way. You could try to put this in between if you wanted to. There's really no reason. This is not going to be electrically conductive. So I'll be putting these, um, I'll put the STL for this on uh, Thingiverse. So if you're interested, you won't have to do all the measuring if you have this same style breadboard. These are pretty common. So thanks for watching.